All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is me, Sacred G, and today I'm going to talk about um, a topic in Dead by Daylight. I don't necessarily hear being talked about. My fucking headset keeps cutting off, so I cut off my own sentence. But uh, this is on DC penalties um, in DVD, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I think they should remove them completely, 100%. And what made me come to this conclusion was uh, yesterday morning. So after checking Indeed and all that stuff, because I don't have time to sit here and play Dead by Daylight. Um, and after that, I played DBD. Um, I got into a game, and as you guys know my stance on tunneling and camping, I do not agree with it, and don't fucking force me to agree with it. I, uh, got tunneled, or I don't even remember, because I, I'm already over it, but I, something happened to cause me to DC, because I was just fucking tired of it, and it was just not fun. At all. And, uh, I had to wait a half hour. 29 minutes, so, yeah, essentially a half an hour, right? And that's where... I was like, okay, yeah, this shit needs to be removed. I don't know why they put that in the game. I think it's actually rather fucking stupid, in my opinion, uh, to punish you, like, triple that punishment, even though you de-pip and you lose pretty much all the points that you would have had if you stayed in the match. Like, there's been people I've seen that had been in the match for quite a while, but they end up de-seeing, so all that progress has already been lost. So I don't know why you would want, you would think it's a good idea to punish even further the people who either A, have terrible internet and mistakenly DC'd or their internet was acting up and they DC or because, you know what, we were tired of fucking tunneling and camping and unfun killers who clearly want the 4K in very cheap ways. That's mainly my argument, but it also applies... For people who, you know, are in the middle of a game and let's say, because it's live, fucking, uh, the game, their internet cuts off and they get out of the game. And then it's like, okay, why would I have to wait? I know the first time, that's my tablet, I know the first time, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, you wait like a few seconds and whatnot, but when you, when you get into games, like, now, this is when it becomes an issue, is when you get into games where, you know, you've had, like, a whole large line for the day of people who just tunneled, you know, uh, slugging to me is not necessarily that bad. It does get annoying when I'm kind of in the mood to get out of that game, because I don't have time to sit there, man. I don't have time to wait for you to put me on hook. I don't have time to wait for this stupid timer. Right, I don't even know how I got to the 29 minute mark. It usually resets in 24 hours, but apparently it fucking didn't. And, uh, I just think they should remove the penalty. I don't see the point behind it, because all that's gonna do is deter people from actually playing the game. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and suck the, the, the whole philosophy dick of, oh, it's just a game, when it's, in reality, don't, that's just a, that's just an excuse, because these people are fucking annoying, they play like garbage, and, uh, it's just funny to me, and it's also the people, like I said, with bad internet, or with internet that cuts off, it's like, why would you punish us even further, like, I think losing all the blood points and de-pipping is good is a good enough punishment already i mean that was already the punishment back when dbd started I've, at least that i think like you don't you don't you lose all the progress you pretty much made and the funniest part about that is uh you know that's not fair at all like whatsoever and the same and i don't care like if you're gonna tell me that i oh well you're being a little you're being an entitled survivor or you're being an entitled killer because it happens with killer too um no, I don't have to fucking obey any command by by sitting here saying, well, I need to understand it is just a game. I know it's a game. I know it's a game, but there are annoying-ass ways to play. At least, the, I'm, I'm speaking on the tunneling part, because that's, that's what caused me to make this video, to be honest. Um, I <clears throat> really just fucking don't want to support that i i don't have to i don't agree with tunneling and camping and if i get tunneled straight off a hook because the killer is so terrible at finding survivors don't get me wrong i can see why you do it because you're bad at finding survivors um and, or the, you you know you're not good at chasing them one of those things uh you know it's not fun 
Like, you know, you get off hook, you already sit on hook, no gameplay there, besides maybe, I guess, struggling. But once you get saved and the, the fucking killer beelines to you, that's not fun. You know what's going to happen. They don't have the skill to look for you. So, it's like, I don't want to support that. I don't want to sit in a game that I waited for to get into a game where, you know, I uh, get fucking tunneled or camped. And if I get, well, usually if I get camped, I end up suiciding because fuck that shit. I ain't having my teammates waste their time trying to save me because this killer is such a bitch. He can't fucking leave and go find other survivors. When you usually have like one survivor on hook for campers, that's your cue to go look for other people. You have one person on hook. There's like four, it's a four, for one versus four. So there's technically three on the, on the floor, right? Doing whatever. When you camp, you actually waste the time that you could have had protecting gens that you didn't need to fucking have go out. It's just funny to me. So I think, in my opinion, they should just remove it. I mean, already having zero blood points literally after you DC and also losing a rank if you already are on, like, the first tier you had none and that one DC was the final straw, you're back to, like, or brown four or brown one or even fucking gold one if you already were red four <clears throat> i mean that's a punishment enough to me i don't know why we'd have to wait i heard the longest i heard uh for that is fucking 70 hours <clears throat> 70 hours because i decided to lose all my points and then i come back to a lobby and i'm like oh I have to actually wait 30 minutes, even though it should have fucking resetted, you know? And, and I got into a game, and, and it, so far yesterday, man, I, I've been, I, I'm been glad I didn't DC a lot yesterday, because I probably would have hit the 70-hour mark, or even longer. Who, well, I wouldn't have been able to hit the longer one. I had to wait 70 hours. But anyways, I had a whole list of games where killers didn't want to play, you know, with skill. They wanted to have the cheap, the cheap stuff. They wanted to eat the cheap junk food. Which is essentially, you know, body blocking, tunneling, uh, and fucking... Well, I body block too, so I can't really complain about that. But tunneling and fucking camping survivors just because you know you're gonna lose. That's, that's, what I, that's why I think people do that. And that's not fun. It's not fun to deal with. Whatsoever. It's not fun... Um, and I don't agree with it. I don't want to hear the excuse, oh, it's just a game. Well, if you can judge, listen, for you salt content creators, if any of you are watching, if you can judge somebody's fucking play style or attitude, you we can judge your play style. I mean, it's annoying, and a lot of these people that are going to tell me it's just a game, you need to get over it, are fucking insecure, and know damn well that they're playing in such the most annoying way to, to, I guess, elicit reactions so they could, you know, have people feel sorry for them or some shit. I don't know. But they should definitely remove that just for that reason and also because of the fact, you know, people sometimes are unfortunate and have bad internet or, you know, during a match as life tends to be crazy sometimes and, pardon me, random, that uh, you could end up getting cut out during a match. And uh, I just think they should remove it. I don't see the point in it. I think, you you know, losing all the points, like, let's say you stayed in the game for, like, it was a 15 or 18-minute game, and you left at 15 minutes. All that progress you made in the 15 minutes is gone. Kapoop. There's nothing. It, it fucking... David Copperfield, okay? Um, like, there's nothing there. You, you either also de-pip as well, which is just fucking insane, and they just think that... I guess adding a timer for you to wait is uh, the essential and the answer to those questions. So that's what I got to say. I think they should remove the DC penalty. Um, that's just my opinion. If you can change my mind, then, you know, go for it. You could try. But for right now, I'm set in stone. They should fucking remove this shit, seriously. Like, who gives a fuck anyways who DCs? Like, it happens. It's not like the end of the fucking world. It's not like you're losing a championship. It's, it's just fucking stupid, dude. I just don't understand most of these people who want to defend a shitty play style and who asked for these penalties, even though sometimes people have crap internet and also they they could go out and they could end up DCing. De I've seen that happen. You know, you know which DCers are raging and which ones aren't. So, anywho, that's all I gotta say. See you guys in the next video. Peace the fuck out. Bye.